Hey guys, so this is, uh, what, Estate Sales 5 now? 4? Maybe 4. 4 or 5, one of the two. Anyway, I'm sure the description will say. But, uh, here we go. Here is what we achieved through one estate sale here near my house. And, uh, <clears throat> the total for this is a whopping $5. So, uh, we'll go through what we got here. So I picked up these two uh, bottles because if you guys watch musty one he always has that little bottle which kind of looks like a uh, two-stroke oil bottle and uh, figured these would come in handy they do have the straw that goes all the way down so I'm sure I'll find a good use for those so we picked up two of those for this old uh, gas can which had the cool uh, advertisement on it and then a brand new piston ring compressor with the receipt in it for Briggs. And we got uh, three Pulsa Jet carburetors with gas tanks. Got some Mystic Lawn Boy parts. I think that's a Lawn Boy carburetor. Those two because it has a cork float that kind of gives it away. And uh, Lawn Boy flywheel. I think that's a coil as well. And then uh, we picked up two of these Tecumseh flywheels. Um, one's new in box, and then this one's just out and about. So we might do something with those. Maybe make like a wall display. And uh, some other lawn boy parts. And then, you know, your basic Briggs, air, air cleaner, another flywheel, a really nasty head, which is a Briggs, and then another tank. So we picked up four tanks, four gas tanks, and then a bunch of parts. So probably just alone, I mean, I could like double my money with just one gas tank. So I'd say that's a good haul. And then I think the most expensive of it is this uh, power supply I picked up. Let me focus. Here we go. I'll do some research on that. But it said made in Japan, and it's got this really nice handle on it. With a with a clicker, so I'll do some research on that. But overall, I mean, I thought I was gonna pay like twenty, but he said five bucks, and I said here's my money. So uh, I'll uh, put these into my parts assortment I have, and uh, I've been meaning to clean out my workshop once again. So uh, you guys might not hear from me for like maybe a week, per usual. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the other. There's going to be some other clips at the end of this video uh, of the sale that I thought you guys might like. So uh, thanks for commenting and subscribing, and uh, welcome new subscribers, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, well, after a short Google search, that's what they wanted for it. Uh, it is an electric screwdriver. So it has a high and a low. And then forward and reverse. That is that is too cool right there. He did have quite a few uh, electronic testers and a couple radios, but nothing that you would really scream radios. However, he did have quite, he or she anyway, had quite a few vacuums. And I'm sure this would come in handy undoing lots of screws. So, anyway... Fun little fact for you guys. I thought it was like a, like soldering or a uh, just power supply that you turn on and then you can like probe whatever you want. But this is way cooler, I must say. So that is a cool score. And uh, hopefully you'll see this in an upcoming video for uh, fans. I got a couple fans like in the previous estate sales that I need to uh, go through and uh, get ready because. Hot weather is coming. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Here you go, Hank. There's a Wairika back there. Another Wairika. There's a Kirby. There's an older Kirby.
And check out this electric. I think they have enough heaters. Titan. That's a cool one. Shed full of heaters. You want a heater? Or a calculator? There's a really big one. There's another Titan. Titan. One on its side.